Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Here we're going to solve the following differential equation, which will be the second derivative we write as d squared x minus 2 times the first derivative of x is equal to 4. And the initial conditions x of 0 is equal to negative 1, and x prime of 0 is equal to 2. So that's our equation that we're trying to solve. So let's first apply the Laplace transform to both sides. So we'll have a uh, second derivative minus. Now we can pull the 2 out and have the Laplace operating directly on the first derivative. And then on the right-hand side, we'll have the Laplace transform of the number 4. All right. So what we're going to do then is apply the Laplace transform just to this first term here. So since it's a second derivative, it'll read as s squared Laplace transform of x minus s times x of 0 minus x prime of 0. All of this comes from just that one term. And then we will have minus 2, and inside the parentheses we'll write the Laplace for this, which will be s times Laplace transform of x minus x of 0. All right? Only one s, no s squared, because this is just a first derivative. All right, now on the right-hand side, we'll go ahead and take the Laplace transform of 4, which is going to be 4 over s, because you can think of it as 4 times 1. The 4 can come out. We know how to take the Laplace transform of 1, so it's going to be 4 uh, over s, like that. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll start substituting in. We have s squared Laplace transform of x minus, here we have x of 0 is negative 1. So this will be negative 1, so this will actually change into plus s, like that. All right, and then over here we have minus x prime of 0, which is 2. So we'll put a 2 there. And then we have minus 2 times s times the Laplace transform of x, from distributing this in. And then negative times negative uh, gives me a positive. Actually, it's probably going to be a little bit easier to write it like this. So we'll say minus 2, and then we'll have... Uh, negative, and then this guy is going to be a negative 1, like that. And then on the right, we'll have 4 over s, just to avoid sign errors. So the negative 2 is getting multiplied through. There's a negative here, so I'm writing it there. And then the actual value of x of 0 is negative 1. So I just don't want to get confused with signs. So let's go ahead and collect everything, all right? So what we're going to have then is we'll factor out a Laplace transform here. So we'll say Laplace transform of x, and we'll factor that in. That'll be s squared, and then here we'll have minus 